Now keep in mind this is from my highest last year, but I lost two pounds today. And look at that number. What does it say? 279. 270, 279. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be back in the 270s. Hey guys, official good morning. I woke up very happy this morning. I'm so proud of losing two pounds this week, especially because I felt like this week I actually struggled a little bit with eating. I went over my points on a few of the days. And I mean, that's not like an awful, awful thing, but I've been trying really hard to kind of stick within my point. And one thing that was on my what I eat in a day is like how many calories versus points I'm eating and stuff like that confuses people because if you don't do Weight Watchers, I guess you don't really understand. And it definitely is your, the whole system allows you to eat more calories than you should be intaking if you eat too many of the zero point foods for sure. Because think about it, if just because eggs are zero, they're still 70 calories a piece. Yes, they're good for you. They have, well, I mean, I guess if you have high cholesterol, probably not. But um, they have protein. They have no carbs. Um, not, I mean, they have some fat and 70 calories. So if you have four of those for breakfast, that's 280 calories versus 140 for just two. And then if you have fruit with it and you have vegetables or whatever you could easily have a four or five hundred calorie breakfast for zero points so you do kind of have to you know look at those things so I try really hard not to go too over my points um, if I have like a little treat or whatever for the week which I've been trying not to I've been trying to save like if we have an outing or a get together or whatever trying to save my points for those types of things which we really haven't been doing so I'm I'm excited because it's strange I've been kind of strict on myself every other week and this is the first week that I've lost two pounds every other week has been I think the highest was like 1.6 and 1.4 so yeah I'm excited I'm happy honestly with just a loss anywhere between half and a pound is cool with me a pound and a half that I'm totally fine with that two pounds of course is even better but um, I'm all about like sustainable weight loss because we have seen my weight struggles over the years go up and down up and down up and down and I gain weight very easily very easily and it takes me forever to lose it so I'm totally cool with whatever I end up losing, but two pounds. And I'm back in the 270s, which for some people you're probably like, you're still like super morbidly obese. Yes, I am, you're right. But for me, that's a huge accomplishment because I think my lowest was exactly 275 or 275 point something this past year. And um, I've been lower than that in the past, of course, haven't we all? But right now my thing is just getting back to where my lowest was in 2020 I think 2020 you know for some of us it was like a glow up year for a lot of us it was more like trying not to gain weight and that was me the whole year and I still ended up a little smaller because I started at like 296.2 I think I'd have to look at my tracker um, but that's why you see it says I've lost like 17 whatever pounds so yeah I think it was 296.2 or 0.4 um, so I am down that much overall but I was truly only down about 10 pounds <laughs> from January 1 or whatever January 2nd of 2020 to January 4th of 2021 so I'm totally happy if I just can like maintain or lose a little bit every single week I've said it before my goal is to be smaller January 1 of next year than I was January 1 of this year. Of course, I would love to be down 100 pounds and like go from there, but you know, one little thing at a time. If I think that too far ahead, I start to get overwhelmed and I just, I feel like I self-sabotage. So one week at a time. So this week I'm very proud of myself and I worked out a couple times, so yeah. So anyway, back to kind of getting into things that I enjoy including losing weight and stuff like that I am at CVS I'm sitting in the CVS parking lot I'm about to go in and coupon a little bit I don't have any like actual coupons I have my couponing book with me but all my coupons and everything are way expired I have not even looked at couponing for so long I honestly can't even remember the last time I couponed it probably was documented on my channel to be honest um, this is my couponing book I got this I don't even remember where it's an organized her I don't know if you can see it 
H E R, Organize Her. And it's a cute little couponing book. Um, I just, you can keep like cards and stuff up here. I have little coupons and whatever. And then it actually is for coupons, your shopping list, things like that. And then it has little baseball card holders in the back for your coupons. So if I can find this online, I will link it for you guys. Um, I bought it so many years ago, so I really don't even know. I actually had a client come in with one of these, but like a large binder version of it. And I was like, that's so cool. She used it for her like, I don't know, like marriage license and stuff probably she shouldn't be carrying around, <laughs> socials and things like that. And I was like, that's really cool. And then in the back she had coupons. And I was like, I need one of those. So when I started researching where you could find one, I found this little guy and it fits perfectly in my big purse and it holds coupons and stuff really well, but I don't have any. So I'm going to use all digital coupons and see what I can find. I realized today in the shower we are completely out of shampoo. I have maybe like a couple shampoos left in my shower. I have some for the girls. I bought it when they used it all in the bubble bath. Um, and so I have one bottle for them, but I have zero left for myself and for Andres, zero. I have like six bottles of conditioner well, that's probably stretching it, maybe like three or four. I think I have three and a hair mask of conditioner. So I'm cool on conditioner. Although we go through it really fast because I co-wash Emmy's hair with conditioner too. But still, I have some left. I have some body wash, but we have zero shampoo. Zero. So that's never happened to me. I always have backup upon backup upon backup. So I was like, yeah, I placed a Walmart pickup order last night for 10 o'clock so I'm waiting for that to be ready and it has like basic stuff that we need like we're completely out of milk eggs I'll show you guys when I take it home it's just basic stuff it was like $75 or something like that worth of stuff a few pieces of fruit um, and whatnot so yeah that I'm waiting for so I told on the desk I was like I'm gonna get up a little earlier and come out and try and coupon for some shampoo and maybe some household stuff and see how much I can get a discount because regular shampoos and stuff is super expensive so here we go I'm gonna try and do this in under like an hour 45 minutes but I haven't I'm very rusty so <laughs> we'll see how it goes this is what I'm gonna try and get I think I've done okay I don't really know I also have a $10 CVS card so we'll see okay that guy was super nice I liked him better at this location than the manager at the location that I normally go to. I feel like the location I normally go to, the manager is just like done with people that coupon because the last time I went in there, he was like, oh, you don't coupon anymore. And I'm like, that's sad that you remember me for that. But no, I haven't in a really long time. And he's like, yeah, he's like, man, since the pandemic hit, there's just so many people that whine and complain about their coupons not working and this, this and that. And I'm just like, okay, <laughs> I guess I won't come here anymore. So this guy was super cool. Um, and it was, okay, so I'm not going to give like a, crazy crazy breakdown I ended up paying 3603 and I got back 7 12 14 14 dollars in extra care bucks and then I hit the beauty reward for three dollars so what did I just say 14 so 17 dollars in extra care bucks and I paid 3603 so not bad I mean that's what $19 I spent like technically I mean I spent $36.03 out of pocket for the stuff that you guys saw I ended up getting two head and shoulders let me just show you real fast two of these Colgate optic white um, toothpaste this ended up being a great deal because it was they were on sale for $3.29 each and then they, I had a $2 off coupon and it was buy two, get a $4 extra care book. Yeah, so I paid like six sixty-five or something like that for them and then $2 off, so like four and some change and I got $4 back. So I got two of these, which is a great um, toothpaste option for only like 
50 or 60 cents. So that's my idea of toothpaste. That's the only reason why I got it. The reason my transaction was a little bit more expensive was because I got these Maybelline products that I've been wanting to try and they were expensive and it was only buy to get $5 back. But I had um, a digital coupon for $2 off this and $1 off this. Yeah, and everything came off. Yay. The only thing is, is I think I had a 40% off something that one didn't come off but that's okay not a big deal so this was 11.29 but it's the Maybelline sky high mascara I've been seeing this all over TikTok that it's like the best mascara ever and I wasn't gonna order it on Amazon it's still like 12 bucks on Amazon so I picked it up here 11.29 ended up paying um, 10.07 for it after the coupon savings and then this is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. This one is in the color Pathfinder. So just a really pretty like berry red. And I'm very excited for these because I've heard they're awesome. So these two products were $20 of my <laughs> total and I only got $5 back for them. So that's fine, not a big deal, but I, I wanted them. And also when you spend 30 in the beauty category, which I think includes hair, lotions, um, makeup, I think, is what the categories are. Face, Facial stuff, shampoo, makeup, and whatever, I think. If it hasn't changed, I don't know. So I got those things, and then I got a few household things. The Tide Pods were on sale for $4.99. I had a $2 coupon on those. Just And all this was digital. I have not, everything was digital. Like you can see, you can see there. Digital, all of it came off digitally so I didn't have anything in hand and I had no problems with anything coming off none and then I got two of the downy we've been using the pods but it's nice to have these got two of those and then I got two of the head and shoulders itchy scalp care um, I didn't get any other shampoos or anything here because I didn't have any other coupons and I can definitely get them cheaper than here. Um, in fact, Andres texted me right in the middle of me shopping and he was like, oh, can you pick me up some vitamins? Because I ran out a week ago. <laughs> Oy, and it's just like his one a day multivitamin. And I looked because they had buy one, get one free on a lot of their vitamins and I had a couple of coupons, but it was insane for like a multivitamin, 21, 26, $29 for one thing. I'm like, buy one, get one free. It's like $11 at Walmart. So. I'm gonna go pick up my order, but I'm going to go inside and get him some vitamins. If I had known last night, uh, I could have put it in the order. I did not. So yeah, I'm so excited. I feel so good to be back into it. And now I have this, um, the $3 beauty buck or whatever will print out the next time I'm here. But now I have this money to spend and put towards my next transaction. So hopefully from here on out, I won't be spending $36. And I'll just take this from like my household. Yeah, just like my household budget because that's where it all came from. Um, so I'm really excited. I know it's probably like those of you that coupon are like, oh, that's an awful deal. But for me, it was really good to get into it. It's like you have to invest that initial amount in order to continue because like now I'll have $17 to use for the future so next week when they have better deals or different deals I should say not necessarily better but different deals I will be able to use the $17 towards more shampoo or more laundry and stuff like that so that's how you get started you have to have that initial investment okay now we are headed to Walmart I have not received my confirmation that my order's ready yeah no not yet so I'll go sit in the parking lot oh it is it is ready how come I didn't get a message check in okay cool so I'm on my way but like I said I will have to run in or maybe I can just order his vitamins on Amazon maybe that's what I'll do groceries secured I really don't I would have rather had the van for the groceries because then he could have put them in the trunk but um, I'm in the pilot because Andres is parked directly behind me and I just wanted to get out so yeah I just had him put them in the back seat there's the eggs and the rest of the groceries I'm so excited I'll show you guys when I get home but I do have to run into Walmart because the vitamins on Amazon 
are um, very expensive, $26 for the 120 pack. I'm like, what the heck? And even the gummies, which is what he prefers, um, are like $8 for a three, not even, uh, not even a month supply. I'm like, what the heck? I can get the big pack for $11. <laughs> so I'm gonna run in real quick. I didn't get a cart because I was like, I don't wanna put more stuff in it. <laughs> so I got his um, vitamins. And then I wanna try these Premier Protein. They're the cafe latte, so I just picked up a small pack, but I thought I would share um, the secret treasure stuff. It's sleepwear, but these are so cute, like these lounge sets. So cute. I really like this one in particular. I don't love the top. They don't have my size in the bottom, so I don't love the top. It's kind of like a big crop top, but it has bat sleeves like bat wing sleeves. So I don't I don't love the top, but the bottoms are super cute. They have all of these camo ones and then I had one of you on Instagram message me this one, which I thought was super cute, but I thought it was a long sleeve. I don't love it in short sleeve as much, but they're so soft. So soft $12 for the whole set. They have this one too. Super cute. And then they have a bunch of these look like Three quarter length sleeve to me, but totally new prints from what we've gotten in the past with matching bottoms. So cute. I don't need any more lounge sets right now. Like I said, I was going to get that um, caffeine queen one, but I thought it was long sleeve and I probably won't wear the short sleeve as much. So yeah, check out your Walmart if you haven't. Okay, I know I've been in the car <laughs> a lot this morning. Um, I'm about to head home. Actually, I may pick up a coffee. I'll see if Andres wants some. I've been trying not to call him my Hennepin too much because I know for some of you that's like, <laughs> I get it, I get it. When I hear people with like pet names and stuff, I'm like, all right, enough, enough. So I get it. I've been trying to call him Andres instead of my Hennepin, but um, anyway, I'm gonna call him and see if he wants a coffee before work. And I'm just scanning in my receipts. I told you guys before, I like to scan receipts so that like as soon as I get in the car, that way if I need to scan something, it's usually right here with me. I The only time I don't do it is when we have huge grocery shopping trips, I do it at home. But like I just scan my Walmart receipt that I had right now. And I only walked out with those two things, the cafe latte, which is kind of why I want to stop and get a coffee so I can try that. And then um, his one a day vitamins. So I was in and out. And then for my pickup order that I just did, Fetch Rewards has the um, e receipt. So I just click the little blue e on my thing and it'll pick up my Amazon and it'll pick up my um, e receipt in my email from Walmart. So if you are not a part of Fetch Rewards, I'm not sponsored by them, but I do have a code that gives you two free dollars. It's 2000 points. So it's two free dollars when you sign up. I'll link it below. You just scan your receipt. Literally any receipt will give you points back. Any receipt from anywhere will give you points back. Some of them give you more points depending on what you're buying, but you can scan any receipt, any food place, any um, anywhere that you purchase food grocery store gas station any retail shopping center anywhere you go you get points back and they let you do um, e-receipts like I literally just got 25 points for every single Amazon purchase <laughs> like they picked up four Amazon purchases which is totally my fault but four Amazon purchases and I got a hundred points back for those and then let's go ahead and scan the Walmart receipt um, and see if it comes back with anything even if you don't get even if you don't purchase anything like you don't have to purchase anything specific to get points back which is awesome I bought it on the other hand you have to purchase specific things I do have a code for that as well for a ten dollar like welcome bonus when you scan your first receipt that one's cool you have to buy specific products in fact some of the stuff that I bought at Walmart has specific products that was like buy one get one free on Ibotta and um, just like completely free items so I went ahead and picked them up and then it attaches your Walmart pickup order to the Ibotta account and it automatically gives you the cash back which that is super cool so I'll link those two down below if you're interested in those I'm gonna call the rest and see if he wants a coffee let me call him right now no nope, that's audio and see I'm probably just going to get espresso we have espresso at home but sometimes it's just nice to grab a coffee you know so let me see if he wants anything 
hey baby i'm just leaving walmart do you want um i think i'm gonna get i picked up a premier protein the mm -hmm. latte coffee latte or whatever because i wanted to try it mm -hmm. um i'm gonna stop mm -hmm. and get some espresso do you want anything from starbucks uh no i'm okay sweetie. thank you are you sure you don't want a coffee before work um uh, okay since you're twisting my arm <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to i'm just asking <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, take one. You know, like that, uh, the mocha, the hot, the hot, yeah, the hot, uh, white mocha double. The you, mocha. you want it hot or iced? Hot, to be, please. Oh, hot, okay, okay. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, hot, please. Well, because you got it iced last oh. time, I was just checking. Well, did, did I get it with ice? I don't even remember. Last, no. well, this last time you got it iced, but yeah, you um, usually get it hot. Okay, well, hot, yeah, hot. Hot. Okay. I knew if I asked him the right way, he'd want one. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to run to Starbucks, then home. Darn it, Starbucks. I should have known there were going to be 35 cars in line. Freaking stinks. Now I feel so bad for calling Andres. Bummer. Okay, quick overview of what I got at Walmart. Again, this was all grocery pickup except for this stuff. I already showed you the premier protein. And unfortunately, I didn't stay for Starbucks because it was too crazy. So I'm just going to make coffee at home and try it. Um, a five dozen thing of eggs. We're almost completely out. I think I have enough for like five or six. Actually, I don't even think I have enough for a meal for everyone. So I needed that. Some turkey breast breakfast patties. I really like these. The girls really like these too, just like as a quick side to go with eggs or whatever. Some green grapes. The Chobani flips. Again, like I was saying earlier, I bought a, you can link directly to your Walmart account and the Chobani flips for buy one, get one free. So I thought I'd pick some up for Andres' lunch or if the girls want to try them or whatever. Salted caramel crunch and cookie dough. I don't know how many points these are, but they're 180 calories. So yeah, probably not for me. Some plums, some avocados, bananas, a gallon of 1%, pretty much for Andres and the girls. I don't really drink milk. And then I'm kind of disappointed with this because you guys know organic milk is kind of expensive. Um, this one's completely dented, all dented in, and they substituted my second gallon for the half gallons, which is fine, not a big deal, um, but this one came without a cap. So I'm like, okay, fine, like it's sealed right now, but <laughs> what am I supposed to do when I open it? So I'm kind of disappointed with those. Um, and then the Bolt 24, I got the strawberry lemon. This was a free item on Ibotta. So I picked one up at Target a couple of weeks ago, decided to pick up another one. They were pretty good. Um, I just either let the girls split these. They're really not that bad, 40 calories, but it's just like an electrolyte drink. So it was free, I got it. Cheez-Its, hot and spicy for Andres. And this is not mine, so I'm not sure. I need to look back at my receipt because I can't remember if I bought three bags of baked chips or two and that they gave me the wrong thing, I don't know. I got the baked ruffles, cheddar, sour cream, and baked original ruffles. Again, I have to look at my receipt because this I did not order. Smart food, sweet and salty kettle corn. I have, um, when I was at HEB, I got the crystal light with caffeine and grape. And uh, I heard Walmart's generic brand is pretty good as well. That HEB did not have a generic brand. So this is the energy I got. Pomegranate lemonade, only five calories a pack. Acai blueberry, same thing, and then peach mango. And these have, let's see, the other ones have 60 milligrams, I think, of caffeine. Oh, this one has 120 milligrams of caffeine for one packet. Let me make sure I got that right. Yeah, this one only has 60 milligrams per packet. The crystal light, these have 120, so we'll see how that goes, because my body reacts pretty quickly to caffeine. And then some red grapes. The Ritz Crisp and Thins um, and the Cheese Crispers were buy one get one free on Ibotta. So I picked up two, four cheese and herb, cream cheese and onion. The Good Thins were also buy one get one free. So I picked up two of the sea salt. And that was all we got. I just looked and I ordered two of these. Um, so they ended up giving me one of these, which is fine. I've never tried this before. I don't know what it, how it compares. Probably similarly, like four or five points for a serving, so I'll keep it. But yeah, I was like, I know I didn't order that, but I couldn't remember what I ordered, so that's what it is. I'm gonna win the coolest mom award because I picked up McDonald's. You can't, that doesn't look like McDonald's for lunch. 
for the girls. I'm so excited. I got some cheeseburgers, chicken nuggets, and then I picked me up the spicy nuggets. I don't know how many points these are. I'll let you know. Okay, two out of the three. Our schoolwork is done. Thank goodness. Oh my gosh. Andresa is... Um, I think I mentioned this, but his schedule is a little bit earlier than it normally had been. And so I'm like by myself. At least I had help the last few weeks or so, them having a different Zoom schedule and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, not now. <laughs> so getting this time is like super busy early afternoon for us to try and figure out what all needs to get turned in and everything. So yeah, I just finished with Autumn. Autumn had a project she had to do on Rosa Parks. So we were doing that and I had to finish turning in Maddie's stuff. And the way that they do it now is like they have to, some of the stuff that they just do and they don't turn in until the end of the week, they have like a little quiz saying, did you do this? Yes or no? So we have to go and make sure everything is turned in the way it's supposed to be. She's doing PE virtually right now and Emmy is, well, she was sitting right there finishing up her schoolwork. She must be turning stuff in on uh, my Big Mac. So hopefully she's about done. And before Everly goes down for another nap, we're probably going to try and go outside and get some fresh air because I feel like I've been running around since this morning. I have been running around since this morning. And I'm, they've been cooped up in here. So we're going to try and get some fresh air. And then I have some meat in the fridge. So I'm finally going to do meatloaf for dinner. And I have potatoes in the fridge too that have lasted this whole time, which is great. So I'm just going to mash them up. We're going to have meatloaf, potatoes, and green beans. Which, by the way, those spicy chicken nuggets were 14 points for 10 of them. 14. They were really good though and totally worth it for me to have as like a little treat today. But back to normal meals tonight. Autumn and Maddie are going opposite ways. I regret wearing a long sleeve. It's actually pretty warm out here. The sun's shining. Um, but yeah, we're going to get some exercise. I joined this 14 day challenge with my girl Noelle Does Keto on Instagram to move your body every day. Today is day one <laughs> for 14 days. We'll see how it goes. 14 days of movement. Um, so I'm gonna try and get in at least a while while we're out here. <laughs> Hi, mama. She was having a snack. She found a remote in the garage. You having fun? Yeah. Look at the girls. <laughs> they look like a bunch of circus clowns circling around for show. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. You tired? <laughs> go, 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 go. I have my blinkers on. We're just leaving the park because, or not my blinkers, my hazards, because I have to follow Emmy home. All of our bikes don't fit, well, not even their bikes fit in the car. So we have the two middle girls bikes, Everly stroller, and then Emmy's bike doesn't fit with her in the car. So she likes to ride it to the park and home. So I just follow right beside her. <laughs> I'm sure people, I've said this before, I'm sure people that see me probably like, what is she doing following that girl? But, go ahead mama. I just like stop traffic for her, make sure she can cross in front of me safely, like just that kind of stuff. Just makes me feel better. She's probably perfectly capable of getting here on her own, but I'm not willing to let that happen. So until that time, which may be never, I will continue to be stalker mom. Go ahead. Anyway, it was a really great workout. I walked for about 40 minutes straight. We were at the park for a little over an hour. And I let them play and stuff. Is that her remote? And um, yeah, I walked for an hour, so it was a nice workout. Just hustling up that hill. Go, Emmy, go, Emmy, go. Go, 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 go. Go ahead, go, Mama. Yes, go. 
Girls are helping with meatloaf tonight. Emmy did a really great job so just put it on top. getting it all together. So you're gonna do about three fourths of it right now. Like three fourths of this? Yep. Okay. So I'm just take some spoons, don't let it touch the meat, just kind of blob it on. Blob it like that? Yep, mm-hmm, all over. Can I? So like, we do, so Keep so going, put, put it all. Couple, and then I do a couple, right, Mommy? Yeah. Let Maddie try. <laughs> okay, here. <clears throat> Flop it on the meat. Flop, 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 yeah. flop. We're just gonna put it all over. Almost like we're trying to get something out. Mm-hmm. And then we had those potatoes. And I'm just letting them boil, 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 boil. We had cut them up um, last week, sometime Thursday or Friday. And I just put them in water in the fridge. And they lasted, and they're fine. And uh, even if they were a little bit mushy, you're gonna cook them up anyway. I don't really know if they were or not because I just dumped them in here. So I'm just letting Stand these them? boil away. No, okay. they're, I don't know, they may be done, but the more they boil, the softer they'll be. And you just blend them up. You can mash them with a masher, blend them up with a um, like a hand mixer with a little bit of milk, salt and pepper, some garlic, onion powder if you want. Um, you can put butter. Did I say butter? I don't even know. But yeah, that's what we're gonna have. And then I'll throw some veggie, either a mixed veggie or a green bean. I did not follow a recipe on this. It was about one and a quarter ground turkey. You could use ground beef, ground chicken, really whatever you want. Um, but I just had ground turkey already thought out, so I used that. Um, two full eggs. You could use one whole egg and one egg yolk, but I just used two. Some, about a quarter cup of uh, breadcrumbs. Um, we put salt, pepper, onion, garlic, Italian seasoning, and, and I think that's it. No, and that was a teaspoon of each. And fine powder. Yeah, that, we did that. And then, um, what else? That was it. You could use crackers instead of the breadcrumbs. Oh, and then we put some cilantro, which always makes it taste better. And then, in it, I put some ketchup, mustard, barbecue sauce and, in the actual mis and mixture and um, we mix it all together. So that's what's in it. For the topping, we're using part of it now, part of it later. It is uh, ketchup, mustard, and barbecue sauce, and a teaspoon of brown sugar because I have the sugar-free of everything, so a teaspoon of brown sugar makes it sweet and it kind of caramelizes it. I stick it in the onion, uh, in the onion, <laughs> in the oven. I'm gonna check in about 30 minutes, but it'll probably take closer to 45. And that's that, that's what will be for dinner. So clearly we're back from the park. We were there for quite a while. The girls had a really good time. Um, reading through comments, I'm just waiting for my footage to import so I can edit while dinner's cooking. I may or may not get through it, which is totally fine. Andres actually has a sleep study tonight. He has sleep apnea bad. I mean, you guys have heard him snoring in the background before. And we've tried to get him a CPAP machine a few other times and it, everything just kind of fell through the cracks. So when his insurance and everything got reinstated, which I, a pain for insurance out of pocket is ridiculous let me just say that so thank goodness when he went back to work everything got reinstated and all that good stuff so now we scheduled him for an actual another sleep study like i said he's already done one in the past um and hopefully this time he can get a CPAP and sleep a little bit better because i know i mean he just works so hard and he does very well with a smaller amount of sleep just because he goes to bed whenever he feels like it. He's, he's always up early. That's just him. He's a morning person. Unlike me, I'm a night owl for sure. Um, so yeah, he right after work tonight, he'll probably sleep very well. I would be tortured in an environment like that, but he probably will feel just fine with nobody waking him up because they want him to snore. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll see. He already knows that it's pretty bad. So, I mean, we know. I can hear it every single night. So I'm hoping we can get um, some good, you know, something to treat him. But anyway, uh, so he has that tonight. So I really wanted to get the vlogging or the vlog edited at least so that when the girls go to bed, um, I can just chill for the rest of the night and try and go to sleep early myself. But I'm reading through comments and I love you guys. You're always so sweet. I, sometimes I just take out my frustration. Like I know a lot of you guys say like, don't address the haters, blah, blah, blah. And I don't always, I get hate comments pretty much every single video. And I, I don't always, it's just sometimes they rub me worse than others. When it's just like so blatant that 
the same people keep coming back to leave negative comments for me it just and not not just that they find me on instagram um people have followed me on tiktok like just to try and stalk me essentially and i just i get emails they change usernames i block them they change usernames and come back it's just it's annoying so sometimes it disrupts me the wrong way but you guys are really sweet I, I can always count on the mass majority of you to leave super sweet comments and really uplift me and make me feel better about sharing my life with you guys it it truly does mean a lot a lot and a lot of you i'm surprised i thought i was the only one really that vitamins made me so nauseous so many of you say that your vitamins make you nauseous as well although i do have to say ever since i was talking about the vitamin d i switched my vitamin d and my vitamin c to the morning and because the vitamin c ugh, it's so chalky it reminds me of tums it's just gross Whoa, it's giving me the chills <laughs> just thinking about it. it's so gross so i um started taking those in the morning and i haven't really noticed a difference yet but it's only been you know like three or four days so i'll report back if it does help my sleep patterns because <laughs> it hasn't so far y'all like it yeah it's so good <laughs> emmy's ready for a second so i told her i i had a um, a little piece of it i really wasn't super super hungry but it was really good really good and as you can see this is all we have left i did however make a big portion for andres with some potatoes and veggies and probably about a quarter of the meat so yeah i only had about three ounces with a tiny bit of mashed potatoes and get some more mashed potatoes. go ahead and okay. some uh yeah the mashed potatoes came out really good too and some uh vegetables but it was bomb you guys bomb if you've never tried it like that even with the turkey like literally everybody loved it even everly huh mama it was good, huh? One, two, three, clean. Ta-da! All sparkly clean. Sometimes I walk by these pictures and it, it's just like, oh my gosh, when was that? Look at that. Look at that. Yes, Everly's excited. That was May 6, 2017. So autumn was about eight months, nine months, something like that, like eight months. And look at me. Like, sometimes I look at myself and I'm like god I have not lost any weight I honestly was probably almost 300 pounds here mate oh lord Everly, maybe a little bit over maybe like 309 to be honest so yeah like 25 30 pounds makes a big difference it's crazy okay everybody is in bed right before dinner I was able to get the vlog exported so I just need to upload it say so yay me it's always a win well I say everyone's in bed everyone's in bed except Maddie I had her room I don't know what happened but her clothes exploded so I had her gather all her clothes and she put them in the washer and I'm trying to figure out if I can delay start it I think so because I put it normal everything delay start 10 hours so it'll run at 6 a.m. so by the time I get up at 7 7 15 it should be ready to go in the dryer yay <laughs> I've also had to get a few things from my couponing shelf um, some paper towels I got not got rid of but I distributed the toilet paper that we had in here all throughout the house so now I don't have any here so I'll probably when we go to Costco, I probably will end up picking up, we won't go to Costco for a few weeks. I wanna go the week before I start clinicals. So the weekend before, and I start clinicals the 24th. So we'll probably need at least one toilet paper and by then we'll probably need a paper towel. But what did I come in here for? Vinegar. Um, I'm gonna have to pick up some vinegar because we just used the last of the one inside and this big old bottle that I have to figure out how to get out um, is my last one so I've mentioned before I really wanted to get in here and maybe flip-flop the food and but I feel like I reach for the cleaning stuff on the second shelf more frequently than I reach for the food down here I'm a lot of times I'll send the girls like go grab me a can of tomatoes or whatever so I don't know maybe I won't flip-flop it but um, yeah, <laughs> I have this big thing of vinegar. I don't know where I got this one from, Sam's or Costco, but it's my last one. So 
and we use vinegar for a lot of stuff a lot of basic cleaning if you don't use vinegar for cleaning you should it's very very cheap and more natural than bleach for sure um, so while I'm here I'm gonna try and organize this sanitizing section pulling out the vin vinegar gave me a little bit of space that way I can kind of see what all I have too as far as Lysols and stuff like that go um, and what else did I pull off the shelf? I pulled a uh, dishwashing liquid off the shelf and I replaced the ketchup and I replaced the syrup and something else from out here. I don't remember what else. I pulled a couple of things off the shelf and I was like, oh yeah, clearing it out, clearing it out. So anyway, I'm gonna turn this little area into a little bit neater. I will show you guys here in a minute. Ta-da! I moved my hand sanitizing like wipes and hand sanitizers up here. I have some extra masks as well. So the only two things I took out, um, I need to refill these. So I need to get a new pack of this and new vinegar and I will have room for that here. It doesn't look that bad on camera, but I looked over here and I'm like, what the heck, how creepy? And then she blinked and I was like, oh, she's just still trying to fall asleep. But look at her eyes, it's so... <laughs> oh, mama. She's going to sleep. The time has come for me to go to bed, unfortunately. With Andres not here, the house feels really big and empty. And it's so strange because sometimes he works super late and doesn't even get home until after I'm asleep. And that doesn't feel the same as knowing when I wake up at three or four o'clock in the morning, he won't be on the other side of the bed. Like that to me is just the thought of me going to sleep, possibly waking up. I wake up, I feel like every single night around three or four, especially if I go to sleep and he's not off of work or not home yet, just to make sure that he's here, he got here okay, whatever. Um, I keep my phone on loud just in case like he calls me or anything like that. And we have an alarm and everything, but it just feels weird. You know, if you ever have to be without your spouse, especially, especially, I know some of you are without your spouse regularly, like whether they're in the military, they deploy, they have a job that they work out of town and they don't come back for weeks at a time, whatever the case may be. Maybe they work overnight and you're used to going to sleep by yourself. Um, I mean, for us, I, he's been here without me a few times, but I've only been without him a couple of times. Like, I don't even think a handful, under a handful. And so it's just strange. It just feels a little bit strange. But anyway, I got to talk to him and he's like, this is torture. Because if you've ever been to a sleep study, which I personally have never been to one, although maybe I should, but I probably have, I um, never have been to one, but I probably have an idea what it feels like because I have seen a CPAP machine just in general, see what it, um, looks like and what it feels like and stuff uh, my mom has one. Oh, i had like spit on my chin <laughs> toothpaste or something for my teeth um and it looks pretty miserable it looks like a torture device so <laughs> we'll see and they connect you to all these monitors to see what all is going on um your oxygen levels and all these things and so yeah, I know he hates being away too. He actually will probably be home before all of us wake up anyway. My alarm, I usually wake up about 7.15, 7.30. If it's a day in particular that, like if he's off, I'll try and sleep in a little bit more. Um, but other than that, we're up by like 7.30 most days, 7.15, which is way better than when they were actually going to school, we were up at 6.00. 6.15, 6.30 at the very latest, but 6.30 we were like rushing out the door. So usually it was like 6 or 6.15. So 7.15, 7.30 is a lot better. However, Everly has been waking up like at 6.50, 7 o'clock, and depending on how upset she is or whatever, if she's just playing in her crib, I'll let her lay there for a little while, but if she's upset, it's not fair to leave Autumn in there trying to figure out what to do with her, you know, or trying to entertain her or anything like that. So I usually will go get her. But yeah, I probably, by the time I wake up in the morning, he'll probably be home. But I really don't know. I think they wake him up at 6, but then I'm sure they have to do something before they let him go. Luckily, he won't be in traffic or anything on the way home, not at that time. So 
yeah it's time for me to go to bed today was a super productive day it's one of those things like i know i'm capable of doing everything by myself it just sucks you know to kind of do it all by yourself but I almost thrive on it. It's like I'm a procrastinator in all aspects of life. When it comes to schoolwork, I know, I know my camera keeps going in and out of uh, blurry because there's not a lot of light right now, but I am going to be sleeping with the bathroom light on because I'm scared of the dark. And I know that's like crazy, Melissa, you're 34, how are you scared of the dark? And I totally am, and I'm over here telling the girls, like, be strong, there's nothing to be afraid of. In fact, tonight, <laughs> when Autumn, I was like, Autumn, go brush your teeth, I was changing Everly, and we had already like cleaned up toys and everything, it was time for bed, and I've been putting Everly and Autumn to bed around the same time, because Autumn doesn't take a nap during the day, and she's the first one to get grouchy, besides of like my three big ones she's the first one to get grouchy and she doesn't take a nap and she wouldn't take a nap even if i put her down so i put her to bed early she wakes up at nine does fine and all that kind of stuff but if she doesn't end up going to bed early she definitely gets sassy during the day so i was like go brush your teeth while mommy's changing everly and she's like but i'm scared i'm like there's nothing to be scared of go upstairs the stair lights on you know how to turn on the playroom light then you can turn on the bathroom light there's nothing up there you know this this is your big girl she's like okay i could hear her like running to turn on the light and i'm like i feel you girl <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad but I totally understand I'm like the person that's walking up the stairs like at the end of the night after I turn off all the lights downstairs and the stair light stays on all night we leave that on like as a night light for the girls if they have to get up and go to the bathroom or whatever just so we keep the gate locked as well so that way in case they get up and they don't stumble around and fall down the stairs or anything crazy which is also helpful in my mind because if there were an intruder they would have to figure out how to open the gate it would give me a few more seconds to call 911 so there's that but on top of that i definitely like want to hike my butt up the stairs and shut the gate before like the kukoi comes to get me you know i can't help it on the rest laughs at me so all the time like so bad he's like you're ridiculous what well you're teaching these girls to be so brave and you're over here doing the exact same thing they do i'm like i know like, i don't know what to say so yeah it'll make me feel a lot better if the girls are up going to the bathroom or they come to the side of my bed if i wake up and the lights on so they don't scare the bejesus out of me in the middle of the night. Emmy used to do that all the time because she sleepwalks. She doesn't, she does still now as she's older, but she doesn't sleepwalk as bad as she used to when she was younger. Oh my gosh, I remember for the longest time, um, we actually had her in a toddler bed in our room for a while before we made my makeup room her room. Like once we knew, actually it was right before we actually like knew she was going to stay ours we could adopt her and everything we before all that took place we had started to convert that room but anyway i digress we had her in a toddler bed for a while here in the room with us oh my gosh she used to wake up in the middle of the night and scare the crap out of me like wouldn't say anything wouldn't tap me to like wake me up or anything she would get up and stand at the edge of the bed not on the rest of the side only on my side and just stare just stare at me and have you ever woken up and just know like somebody's at the edge of the bed looking down on you waiting to like suffocate you with a pillow that's what this felt like every single time and you wake up from a dream or whatever and you're like oh nothing's there i'm fine no i would feel that and wake up and she'd be staring right at me and if you haven't been here for very long she used to call me fritty uh, it's a long story go watch older 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 videos or her adoption story and um you'll get a background of it but she used to call me Freddie when she first was placed with us and she <laughs> then after I would wake up she'd be like Freddie I have to go potty I'm like oh my gosh <laughs> Emmy, just go potty just go potty mama you're big the bathroom's right there go potty and she'd be like okay but she would legit just stare at me for who knows how long because she was too little to understand time i mean my gosh she was probably like two and a half and she just every couple of nights and i'd finally get into a routine where i'd be like okay um, she hasn't done it i'm gonna sleep good mm -mm. middle of the night like ugh, 
gives me chills just thinking about it. So I would much rather, because when Andres is here, they always go to his side. If they come in here, they always go to his side. For whatever reason, Emmy would always, well, probably because her bed was over here. She would always come to me, never to him, never. And just be like, Freddy, I have to go potty. Oh my gosh, brings back such crazy memories. But the girls, all of them, if Andres is here, they come directly to him. So I don't have to be freaked out in the middle of the night, but they know he's not here. So I don't want to, I don't want to have a nightmare again about this. I don't want to have a recurring issue <laughs> going forward. So I'll leave a light on and be perfectly fine if I happen to see a kiddo walk by here or there. I know I'm ridiculous, don't judge. But I'm going to call it a night um, because this vlog is super long. I know it's going to be like 40 minutes easy because I rambled a lot today. <laughs> Today just felt like a good day, you know, it felt like a really good day. I also, oh, I've been meaning to tell you guys, no, I'll tell you about it tomorrow. My foot mask, remind me. Somebody message me and remind me, my foot mask. I will um, give you guys kind of an update on what I think, what I recommend. I've got a lot of questions about it recently, so I'll chit chat about it tomorrow because I know this vlog has been super long. So I'm going to call it a night. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. We'll see you tomorrow.